okay guys so this is the hair i got this from nigeria the last time i was back home and uh, this hair is a lace frontal i think this is about 14 inches and it uh comes with an elastic band at the back and you know some extra straps to make it tighter yeah so this hair already is pre-plucked as you can see and it's i think it blends it's already bleached so it blends perfectly with my skin but i just i'll just go back with my foundation to just color it a bit just you know extra protection <laughs> yeah so i'll just wipe off any excess foundation i got on the hair and then i'll just put on a mannequin head and fasten it with some pins yeah so that's a mixture of uh, my conditioner and water the conditioner i use is um share moisture conditioner restorative conditioner so i mix it with water and i'll just spray it on the hair to just wet it and i'll run my fingers through the hair to just you know make it bouncy so yeah the hair didn't shed a lot that was it so i'll just use that brush and then just brush down through the front of the hair Just, you know, losing the curls a little bit more to make it more bouncy. I'll do the same with my comb, my rat tail comb, just the front of the hair. So, yeah, initially I was going to do some baby hair, so I just brought out the hair I was going to use for it, but along the line I changed my mind and I'll let you know why. Yeah, so I cut my pattern, my side part. And yeah, then looking at this, I think it just kind of looks better without the baby hair. Anyway, I'll go with my mousse and then just put it on the parts. I'll brush it, brush the hair, apply some more mousse, some more mousse brush the hair guys look at this it looks so pretty without the baby hair anyway i'll use my comb to just kind of buff it up a little bit because i want the other side of the part to be high so i'm using my comb to buff it up a little bit so that's what it looks like without the baby hair and I, I think it looks pretty so for the other side i'll just do you know swoop a little bit of edges just so it doesn't look too plain on the other side and so yeah i left this to dry for some hours air dry for some hours before wearing my wig yeah so i'll just wear my wig now the hair is dry and i would cut out the lace so i'll just use my hair pins to hold my hair in place and then i'll just cut out the lace around my ears and then i'll be cutting my lace in a zigzag pattern so it looks more natural yeah the lace around my other ear yeah so that's it now i'll just use my wipes to wipe off any oil around my hairline and i use my got to be glue and a wooden spatula to apply the glue to my uh, hairline and then i'll just use my blow dryer to kind of make it a little bit tacky before applying my wig on the glue I'll tie it with a scarf. And then I'll just go back with my blow dryer to just, you know, blow it and make it dry and all that. Anyway, so now I'll take off the scarf and then just, you know, remove the hair, I, that glue that I didn't want to glue and just wipe off any excess glue on my face. I'll just tie back that scarf and go ahead and do my makeup and dress up. So now my makeup is done. I'll just spray some more conditioner and water on my hair. And I'll use my powder on my uh, pattern. And yeah, the side of the lace that isn't really colored. So it just blends more with my skin. Go back with some mousse on my part. Kind of buff it up a little bit. And yeah, guys, that's what this hair looks like. That's how pretty it looks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share. And guys, look at that makeup. Look at how pretty that looks. 
tell me if you want a video on how i achieve this makeup look and i'll let you know in my next video thank you for watching guys see you in my next one and bye bye